This tutorial was referenced from videocopilot.net. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to turn a 2D photo into a 3D scene, as you can see here. Now if we just go up here to the Orbit Camera Tool, you can see how I've achieved that. You can see that it's been broken down into layers, and that's where we'll start. So we're just going to jump into Photoshop, and with the photo open you'd like to turn into a 2D scene. We'll select the Polygon Lasso tool from the side menu and start tracing around the element we want to separate from the rest of the image. To make a 3D scene, you need at least three layers. Um, in this instance, we're going to have the tomato soaked street background as one layer, uh, myself on the second layer, and then my thumbs up on the third layer. Okay, so I've almost finished lassoing the element. Now we're going to right click on it and select layer via copy. Now with our new layer, we will name our layer. So we'll call this one body. And once we've got that name, we'll just turn that layer off. And then what we'll do is remove my body from the background layer. So we'll come over to the side menu and select the clone stamp tool. Um, we can probably go for a bigger brush here, probably around 200 or so. And then we'll just come down to the background and hold down Alt and sample an area and then just start removing the body, painting over it. Now, we want to try and keep uh, this blending quite even because you can see on one side of the screen it's quite light and then the other side it's, it's, a, it's a darker shade of this red. So what we'll do is we'll just keep resampling to try and make it merge a little bit better and we'll avoid the obvious areas like that twisty packet um, as we don't want to duplicate that. Um, in this instance this that isn't actually too bad so being this is just for the tutorial we may just leave that area as is and we'll start working on getting rid of the head. So what we'll do is we'll sample up here, up in the step, and just start brushing across. Um, what we want to do is avoid taking away too much of this lady's foot behind my head as that may be seen when we swivel, some, when we pan from side to side. That looks pretty good. Okay, we've got a bit of that red shoe there, so I'm just gonna redo it. Here we go. Okay, that's almost done. Okay, so what we'll do now is the step. So with the step, we're gonna reduce the brush size, um, and then we'll come down and sample the step right at the top end. Uh, yep, so it's about there we'll do, yep. And we'll just brush along, and look at that. It's a new step. It's like I was never there. Mm. Okay, it's looking a bit, a little bit pink there in the middle where I was lying. Um, so um, I might use the sponge tool to uh, try and desaturate it a bit. So uh, we'll just grab the sponge tool and we'll just start flicking away. Okay, so that will probably do. Now we'll turn on uh, the body layer. Again, just so we can see how it looks, and there we go. Okay, so it doesn't, it does look, doesn't look the best, but we'll, that will do for now. So what we're also going to do is get grab the polygon lasso tool, and just start on the thumbs up. So just go around that. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. The more time you spend on it, the better the better it will look. So, just almost done here. Okay, this is this last little bit. Okay. So we'll just right click and layer by copy, and we'll call this hand. 
and that's us done in Photoshop. So we'll just save it now and jump across to After Effects. Okay, so we want to import those Photoshop files into our project folder. Uh, we want to import it as composition. And so just click OK on this one. Okay, and in the folder we have our Photoshop layers. So we select those and bring those down to the little film strip to create a new composition. And then in our workspace we can see our layers. So, so we can manipulate them in 3D. We'll turn the 3D uh, option, which is that little square here. So we'll just turn that on on all three layers. Now we want to make this a little bit smaller so we can uh, resize the photos. So what we'll do is we're going to resize. To do that though, we'll select all of them and do them all at the same time. So we'll just bring them down until they are the size of the frame. Okay, so there we go. Now we'll just select the background layer and using this little blue arrow we'll just push it back. So push that back into the distance and then we'll select the hand and we'll bring that forward again with the little blue arrow but pulling it forward this time. Now we can see our thumb behind our hand so we'll use this red arrow and bring it across to cover it up and then we'll select the background and using the corners We'll actually resize that. So that is still in the distance, but we're just resizing it so it covers the whole uh, display. Okay, so something like that will do. So that's how we can keyframe it, keyframe movements, and not see the edge. So we'll come to hand, click on the drop down menu. Actually, first of all, we will uh, come up to our layers and we'll click new, new camera and we'll just bring a new camera so we'll go for a 35mm we want a camera for the 3D perspective um, what we'll do is we'll just tidy this up because bringing camera has moved everything down so we'll just shift everything up a little bit okay so we'll just drop down all the menus and we'll start keyframing some movement uh, starting with the background, we'll come down to the Y rotation. We'll just hold down Alt and click on that, and we will position our starting frame. So we can use the arrows here, or we can scroll, uh, just drag them out side to side down here and to get our position. Um, we'll just come up with the scale and fix the scale up, and that will be our starting frame. So what we'll do is we'll uh, just um, scrub to the end of the timeline and we will uh, keyframe our, our last frame as well. So back to the Y uh, rotation, just click on the keyframe and scrub in the opposite direction. And that will be our panning motion of our background. Now we'll have a look at for the camera. So we'll just come to active camera and click on custom view one and you can see how our layers appear. So we'll just go back to the regular view. Now, um, now we'll start keyframing the hand as you can see the other hand behind it. Um, so we'll just close up the background and come to the hand and we'll uh, keyframe at start position. Um, so we'll just click on position, alt click, and we'll just move the hand across and out a bit to try and cover up the hand behind it. Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll just scrub through and what we'll do is we'll make it look like I'm giving a thumbs up so it's coming forward. So we will scale it up a little bit um, yeah, using the position. So we'll just keep frame the last position and make sure we're covering up the hand. And that looks good. That's our 2D photo turned into a 3D scene complete. All that's left for you to do now is render it out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for your time and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheers.